What is good? That was the metal version. Let's go. Oh, wow. Ah. <laughs> Did you hit me with some downward disease? Yeah, the, the, the sturdy, uh. <laughs> it just really went all over the place there. What's good? We're in. We got a little fun episode. We're going to do some camp hype, kind of buy and sell, and just going to have some fun because it's that time of year. Air horns. Whatever you need. I can't help it with that thing. Go ahead and subscribe, like, comment below. Tell us this is taking too long and that was the worst intro ever. Um, you can hit us up at patreon.com for a $5 holler. Get on the Discord, get catch an extra episode or two here or there. Um, and then you can find that t-shirt on revelrybrewco.com. .co, um, and go cop one of those. Revelrybrewingco.com. Nailed it. The shop. Yep, go there. Jesus, get to it already. What Help a- your boys out. Get a shirt. We got Matt. We got Jason. No big co, but we're still tripoding it. So. I had to explain to my mother-in-law the double entendre of tripod. She didn't know that it could also mean a swinging dick. <laughs> what was that movie? Because uh, if it's big door? enough, you can lean on it. Or you could even went with a little, um, uh, was that... Was it Goldmember or was it the Spider Shag Me Awesome Powers with the mini me? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. It was Goldmember. So we're in here. We're going to talk a little camp hype. So basically, kind of buying and selling these. Just going to really have some fun because it's that time of the year. Then we're going to get back into hammering some redraft from now until the end. And we'll do probably our final rookie ranks here for those who are properly drafting rookies at the proper time of year that the right people. Um, we'll do our final rankings for you guys, the people who aren't the most impatient jerk-offs in the world. Gotta do it right after the NFL draft. You're not cool. Yeah, what do you even know? What do you even know? I do it before the draft. <laughs> the coolest. The worst. I've done those before. It's terrible. I have a couple leagues that start the Monday after the draft. I mean, what After the draft, there's a couple leagues that can't wait, but like what before the draft. That's can't, can't hardly wait? What was that? Remember that one? Can't hardly wait. Who was, yeah. who was the, uh, the girl in that one? Jennifer Love Hewitt. Mm, she used mm. to be. She used to be. Really crushed it mm. for a while there. Wonder what she's like these days. Let's Ghost whisperer, too. Burn her up on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, first out of the gate, let's go right to Kansas City. Sky Moore, rookie, getting some, getting some love. I think there was a good amount of love in general for Sky in the process here. Some people might have had him really high to start with, and, and maybe they're being, uh, you know, I mean, I'm talking wide receiver one, two That's area. aggressive. Uh, there was there were some people out there uh, with that beforehand, and maybe they're feeling really uh, vindicated right I now. I mean, pre-draft, you know? I had more of her dots in. That's fair. That's fine. Sure. Yeah. And, and there's video of him taking handoffs, so he right. You're getting the next Debo Samuel. Let's fucking right. go. You're getting you're getting that. That's that's why he's probably the first guy on this list here. He's just got he got he's possibility of taking some handoffs. Got them RB legs. Got them ham hocks. <laughs> boy, boy, quick too. So making some wild catches outside of his frame, plucking them. Great release. I mean, of course, you know, I'm buying all this guy more in in drafts that I can. You're probably not really able to buy him if you're not in a draft. Like if if your league has drafted already, you know, yeah. What do you do? Too late. It's probably probably too late. I'm not paying a 23 first for Sky Moore right now. Right. I mean, you got to overpay for him, and we're you're just not sure with any rookie. I could see selling happen. a 23 first. And it seems Sky like Moore. right now, Sky Moore's gotten a lot of love, but the, if you really get in there deep, it's it's Juju and Mahomes that are really getting the love yeah. right now of, yeah. of having the connection, obviously, outside of Kelsey. Yeah. Um, who knows how that'll go, but the, the handoffs really just put another little <gasps> hype train roll in there for, for Sky Moore. So that's pretty exciting. I know that we we just drafted Sky Moore in a, in a rookie draft that we're doing right now. Uh, it's only half point PPR. Um but maybe with a little running, get a little extra up a little juice. bit for it. Not, Would you guys not take really. him at like one seven, one eight, one yeah, eight, one eight? I took him over Jameson. To me, that's reaching. I would, but I have Jameson that. already somewhere else. Yeah, several you're spots. Trying to, you're so. trying to diversify your fantasy portfolio. Got to. I mean, when you got this many stupid leagues, 
Yeah. You don't want to get too far down a rabbit hole. Yeah. Indeed. Unless Indeed. it's Jonathan Taylor. I have a lot of John. That's, I definitely, that's, that's fine. That's fine. There are some not, times where you got to just be like, yeah. this is the one one. And, sure. And so buying out. the sky more hype. For sure. Yes. I mean, Same I'm, with Brees Hall. Got a ton of Brees Hall. Just picked up a little more Brees Hall today. Well, we sure bit. did. After some, after some negotiations with the people who won't be named. It was me and Corey. Trading with Big Co. Mm. He's a real shysty one. Mm-hmm. He'd be fine with the deal, but he's got to get a little bit something else extra. And I, part of me just wanted to be like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm just then the you first wouldn't, offer. Then you wouldn't have got Brees Hall. Yeah. Well, you were just taking Brees Hall? Yeah. I mean, I was, I was fine with taking Brees You Hall. probably wanted to take Brees Hall. Well, I'm not. Well, you, there'll be a tell-all. <laughs> and I'm not going to discuss our strategies. We're right Over in on the Patreon. beginning of a startup here. So um, we're going to get he into all to, that. Jason wanted to wait. And I was like, no, we're, let's just let's just get go trade, get our guy. I wanted to wait the clock out a little bit more because you didn't reject the trade offer that I sent initially. You said you left it sitting there, and I'm like, "Well, that's like a we would take this, but let's see if we can squeeze these dudes for some yeah, you more." Got, you got the early leader in the clubhouse, and then it took workday trading on it's a tough. long, sure. on a long. And we each have is, partners; you, know, you can't just make the decision yourself. You got to yeah. go. It felt like things really heated up, like post four o'clock for us, where <laughs> it was like people were getting home off of. Like we had a couple back, like a lot of chats back and forth. But then anyway, um, who's next on the list? Well, well, we'll stick at Kansas City and we'll go Pacheco really getting the hype. The hate in the, in the camp for them is Rojo. The hype mm-hmm. is Pacheco. Mm-hmm. 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 So this is a little more interesting. Um, and, you know, right now everybody's basically telling you, you know, you got to buy as much Pacheco as possible in your drafts, which fine uh, with that. Uh, he's pretty cheap in your rookie he, draft. He's still pretty cheap. He's still probably going in the third round, whereas you know a month ago was probably the fourth round. Yeah. maybe not even drafted. In I think in the, the think last in, pick, almost. I think in one of my drafts in my one of my super flex leagues, he went in the fifth. Right, like right after the season. So this so is right where draft. things get a little interesting for me. Whereas you know, a guy like let's let's compare this to an Elijah Mitchell. It's not quite the same because it's not the running game that the Niners have, and there's. There seems to be an entrenched starter. Po- in yeah, cha- possibly in, in, a little bit Kansas more. City. Yeah, correct. Which Mostert was coming off an injury and was kind of the starter, but we weren't sure. And then that flamed out quickly. But like for Mitchell, I really liked Mitchell. I drafted Mitchell everywhere. I didn't diversify that portfolio because in th- the third rounds, right. maybe yeah. I'm, you don't need no harm. Right. Take your I'm guy. getting my guys at yeah. that point. But the yeah. top men get a f- yeah right. You know, if you don't know if you with me and between rankings, like the one one and the one three, typically I'm going to probably get the same guy over and over again. Right. And between yeah. and the third rounds and end of seconds, I'm probably getting the same guys over yeah. and over. I again. don't think I've left a rookie draft this year without Tyler Algier. Yeah, I watch. Yeah, I like that. I didn't like it, but now I like it. Um, Pacheco. So so <laughs> anyway, back to kind of what I was getting at there is like, nor if your draft has already happened and you took Pacheco, if I could, if you could figure out a way, you know, things get out of hand this time. It's 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 the people are super hyped up. If I could find a way to turn Pacheco into a two, I would do so. Uh, you know, and I know that's for some people are like you'd never do that, but some people you can't. Like people Give get the three, the people swap get amped right now for. Hey, it's a Chiefs running back. We're excited. He's getting a lot of love. Getting first team, some he's, first team reps. He's for sure. you know, a, bit, a little bit bigger of a guy, and he's fast. fast. Yeah. Um, and so, and you know, a lot of people aren't. Even though you know there is maybe an entrenched starter in Ceh, there's a lot of people who are pretty much just out, out on Ceh. So they're just waiting for anything else. So if you could figure out a way to do that, I'd, I'm a hundred percent fine with that. Now, saying at cost in the draft, sure, I'm still buying. But if I could take advantage of the hype there, I would. You're selling for hype, buying at cost. Yeah, I think I think that's about where I'm at with with that. Totally fine trying to turn Pacheco I, into a profit. It's lofty to get a second, but if you, maybe you could do a two three swap. That's what or, I said. You give the three, do the yeah. little swap. Yeah, I'm gonna hang on at that point. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm fine. Yeah. Mostly for me, it's because if that guy who was a fourth fringe third guy. Normally doesn't pan out. It's more of a flash in the pan, and then this is hype. This is preseason. This is this is just, training camp hype. Not even preseason hype. This is training camp. Not hype. even like yeah, two but, weeks yeah, of yeah, running what, the yeah. regular season hype. Yeah, but what happens in game one, game two, the preseason? The Pacheco blows up. Sure. I mean, if that happens, then you probably don't even need the swap. Right. So, th- and so, he's yeah, still that's gonna be going point. against second that's tier guys. So just because a guy balls out in the preseason, doesn't unless he even gets mean hurt, anything, unless know? he gets hurt. But if he does ball in the preseason, you saw Terrace Marshall go from a second rounder to a first rounder in any draft that drafted late mm-hmm. in the season. 
Um, it happens every year. Which it's um, happening with probably going to happen Marshall on this list. For probably sure. going to happen with Pickens also on the list. Yeah. So, I, but I agree with you. Maybe maybe you wait a minute and let them start playing because I don't think you're going to get any downgraded hype from nope. Pacheco unless he gets hurt. Hurt or if he comes that looks like complete ass. Which uh, you know, probably not against the third, fourth teams, second teams that he's going to be playing I against. Think probably get, he might he make it a little. Lo- lo- We'll sprinkle on the first, but you well, see good second team work. It depends there. on what first team is it. If it's the first team and it's, you know, it's probably not going to be Mahomes and and Juju and, you know. It knows. would be telling if he gets some run with Mahomes in the preseason, which I, I, I don't can't know imagine. That it, I don't know that it would. Season, I can't imagine that Mahomes is going to be playing too much in the preseason at all. Should be. So, yeah. Should play a little bit. I mean, it's it's probably it's, take I'm, a few I'm weeks. not sure series, what the Chiefs do. I mean, series in each, maybe. I mean, shit, I just read today that. The Rams, uh, John Wofford's not playing at all in the preseason, so they're gonna play the third string quarterback basically the whole game. I like that's well, that's what the Rams always do, though. They don't ever play their well, they, preseason w- starters. well they didn't play their starters, but now they're not playing John Wofford either because yeah. of Stafford's elbow and just right. Well, that's a, that's a good elbow concern. The Rams are always fine, sure. I'm the not pa- worried the about the Patriots, Rams at all. The Patriots are you know notorious for play, using that first the September to be sort of their preseason figuring yeah. things out, yeah. Um, so Rams you know, can do that week one against Buffalo, <laughs> which is why I'm not all that concerned with it would be telling if Pacheco sprinkled in there like, hey, we don't we've had some problems with CEH. Maybe he goes in there for a second and then we don't see a whole lot more of CEH. I think it's a good I think it's a good sign. It might not be the sign, but I think it's a good sign. So we're leaving the Chiefs here unless okay. unless you guys want to get more hyped about somebody on the Chiefs. It seems like MVS not not getting a Man, fuck hype. MVS. So, so, so much hope. <laughs> I was never buying that hype. <laughs> Dabbled in we the We sold M- that motherfucker. I dabbled in Finally MBS. got some cost. Dabbled. Dabbled. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty free initially, and then you could almost have sold him for a first there for a second, and then maybe those not, wheels Maybe not quite a first, off. but he got some hype there. In, yeah. In OTA. I guess we were saying we're going to wait a second to see if we could get the first for him, but then it never happened. You could have gotten a second back in Oh, like way back Green in Bay. the day. Yeah. Way back in the day. Way back. And then, and then he was dead, and now he's back but then no, now I feel like he was back again. and now he's back right again. yeah yeah he's, i think he's kind of dead again yeah probably more valuable for the chiefs than for your fantasy roster yes i agree all right before we move on we did have this uh t-shirt free tea giveaway if you guys were hitting hit me up on the platform of your choice with a five-star review uh, i entered you into a contest uh we saw a lot of a lot of good feedback there so i did a random number generator put all the people into a uh, uh, album on my phone took screenshots of everybody that sent me a review and uh sahib underscore juicy from the instagram you're the winner what size you need homie so i'll hit or you home up at, i don't know i'll uh, homies is non-gender specific anyway anybody, yeah. can, anybody can be a homie yeah i guess so uh <laughs> i'll hit you up and uh we'll get you that free tea sent out so appreciate anybody that hit hit, hit me with a five-star review that was greatly appreciated and mm-hmm. if you've already given us one just send me a screenshot i don't know if it's a brand new one or one you've already done yeah. i don't want to exclude everybody that's already giving me support so i only i got less than 20 f- feedbacks in the last two weeks so there's a lot more people that could be eligible i'm gonna give yeah. a t-shirt out like every two weeks so hit me up yeah we we're getting thousands and thousands of uh, Downloads, listens. So yeah. let's go ahead and uh, get us. Why would you want a free T-shirt? What's wrong? With and that? it's, it's a great, and, it's a great and shirt, comfy shirt too. Yeah, it's a great shirt. And if you've given, if you already entered in this week with uh, with a five star review on iTunes, hit me one with Spotify, and then I'll put you in another one. And hit me with a YouTube subscription. I'll put you in twice. Yeah, we're not trying to be shysty with shirts. Yeah, I'm, if I had a shirt cannon, I'd shoot it. So keep them coming. Keep them coming. Huh. All right, next player. Uh, let's go over to Pittsburgh and let's get excited about <laughs> Mitch Trubisky. Just, oh. kidding. Just kidding. If you have hate in your heart, let it out. We're going Pickens here. You can get excited. Wait, 105? <laughs> I don't know why. You mean stay excited yeah. about Pickens? In your yeah, bra. Sure. Th- this room is staying excited about Pickens. Yeah. Uh, you know, we'll. I mean, that's the whole reason for this video is to be like, look, all the guys that we like are getting hyped. This yeah. confirmation yeah. bias. Listen, if I, it's confirmation bias, if I liked you beforehand, I'm not selling. And if I if I didn't like you beforehand, get the fuck out of here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, George Pickens is making some plays on this practice field against NFL corners that he was doing in college. He's yeah. he's making these. Uh, 
the, the twisty bobcat. He's fucking elevating and rotating in the air and bringing down ridiculous balls. Everybody's talking about how awesome he is. Claypool said he's well. I guess Claypool's now going to be the fourth best wide receiver let's, if let's, George Pickens is going to be the best. Let's go ahead and just take anything that Claypool takes that says with a grain of salt. He was definitely got into Notre Dame on whatever, however many guys they allow in with, that, with the exemption of scholastic uh, <laughs> testing or something. He did not get the appropriate SAT score, no. probably. Somebody, somebody's going to be like, Claypool got a 1450 on his SAT. He's so smart. He definitely took the ACT. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 1450 is not good anymore. Yeah, I think, he, I think yeah it's, it's like a, double it's, that. It's at a 2400 now. Yeah. Yeah, and the water polo, polo uh, coach <laughs> flew in and took the test for him. So. <laughs> the old water polo coach. So, regardless of what Claypool says, Pickens still getting a ton of hype. Pickens, Pickens is good, and then Deontay got paid. For two years. For two years, but a little banged up right now. Um, and Good time Muth, to get paid. Friar yeah, cool. back at practice or not back at practice? I think he was getting very close. This is our Friar Muth insider here. So I don't we're know. <laughs> I think he was getting close. I don't think he's okay, back, back so yet. So close, but back, not back, 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 Robbed at the wall. That was a meatloaf reference, huh? Mm, that was a Chris Berman. We're talking about Chris Berman. I'm talking about derby. meatloaf, though. Yeah, well, two against one ain't bad. So. No, it's. So Pickens getting some hype. If he drafted early. Yep. Probably second round uh, capital on a lot of Pickens. On, in a lot of cases, and late, then right late, now, late if, first. You're, if you're going to draft now, Pickens probably most likely going in the first round. Yeah, but I think the thing is a lot of those late first guys are all have pretty pretty good camps. Well, sure. Except for Christian Watson, who hasn't played at all yet. Right. <laughs> so if you could swap Christian Watson for George Pickens right now, would you sell, sell, sell? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Always. I was always in that camp. So, yeah, I'm definitely doing that. Wait, wait. It may sound like you would sell Pickens for Watson. No, that's Watson for meant. Pickens. No, Watson for Pickens. Right. Right. That's, right. What he, that's verbatim what he said. Yeah, you're dumb. Uh, Do it against get one. some new ears. Yeah. <laughs> These things are large. They're good. I can hear. Um, Big Co's not here, so we don't have the ear volume down. It's got baby ears. <laughs> I had to get individual channels for our <laughs> headphones just for Big Co. Big Co used to wear earplugs in, inside, inside headphones. of his headphones. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He, I went he, to a spe- I went to a concert one time, boasted right by the speakers. Hearing, hearing ain't been the same since. But it, and somehow it got super good through that, <laughs> yeah, and I now got, it's so sensitive <laughs> that if it's loud, it's like usually it's if fucking you, Spider Man <laughs> next to the ear, if you stand next to the speakers, you're gonna lose your hearing, not get he better hearing. Yeah. yeah, wild. Yep. So wild. I'm all in on Pickens. If I could, <laughs> if I could sell Pickens. For Christian Watson right now, um, or if I could, See? if I could, that time I did. See? He got it. He's got it in my head now. If I could sell Christian Watson for Pickens, I would. Yeah, but I nobody's would, doing that. I right was now. always in that camp. Nobody's on that um, right now. Who else would you do that for? Dotson or Pickens? You still got to go Pickens, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, think we I have. Dot, I think we had. Dot, I think we have Dotson. I, I was going Pickens over Dotson, but. I was initially Dotson's going. Pickens. having a good camp too. Was a notch, yeah, initially going camp. Pickens over Dobbins, or uh, initially going Pickens over uh, Dotson, and then draft happened. I I, num- I knocked. Uh, I I flipped those two guys around, and I have Dotson over Pickens currently. I think I'm probably holding strong on that, but I could go either way. I'm I'm going Pickens. I think it's, I, just, I, it's no fun over there with well, Washington. That's and why. And the thing with Dotson is, is he's the guy who's always falling. So right. you know, there's no, there's no hope of turning those guys right. into one another. I don't think. Um, mm, yeah, probably not. So you, you could, you know, Pickens is m- more expensive. I think saying Pickens over Watson, and then obviously, I think we'd all sell James Cook to get Pickens. For me personally, I, yeah, yeah, I, I always has would. been, always yeah. will. So that's nothing new. So, I think that's properly rated right there. All right, so Pickens getting hype, and we like it. Buying. Um, so anybody else in Pittsburgh? Kenny Pickett? No. No hype, huh? He's getting some second team run now over. Yeah. Is he? Yeah, over Rudolph. Is he falling in your super flex he's, rankings he's at all? Yeah. And rookie, climbing. rookie super flex rankings. Yes. Not for me. I mean, he's he's still always, got him there. He's always been the end of the first round for me. Never been a pick guy. I mean, end of the first is different than like one eight. Yeah. Well, I mean. I, if I was, I never really wanted him at one eight necessarily, but I could see the idea of taking him at one eight if you needed it. Um, we just drafted him at like one eleven in a league, 
but it's basically Carson like, Wentz is our second quarterback right, right now. We need a third quarterback, and the idea of like to get a quarterback, you have to you almost a give a quarterback. So the idea of getting a Pickens or a Pickett, who's the first round pick, to trade him and something Plus, else to try to get another quarterback is is I feel like you yeah, know, I mean yeah, the move to try to sure. you know sure up that third quarterback. I mean, nice Trubisky, second quarterback. Trubisky hasn't looked great in practice so far. That would so. be an understatement, yeah. If, according to what Apparently we read, looked, but from what I read today, he's looked better the last couple of days. But he couldn't look. He much would just worse. need to have completed none of the four Pittsburgh, passes. To none do, of the Pittsburgh quarterbacks better. have reportedly been looking great, which yeah. you know, is probably hurting all of those. What are they, the one honest bit. team in the NFL during the preseason? Because every single other person is doing good except Rojo. Like this is the Keontae time Ingram. where it's like everybody Keontae, Keontae Ingram. <laughs> Are the Steelers being honest? That's it's wild. No, nah, I mean, but I like it. I th- I think Roethlisberger was down on the depth chart when he first got there, worked his way up. So should have been yeah. down on the depth chart last year. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, let's leave Pittsburgh. Let's go over to Green Bay. Mm. Hype's uh, hype's building. The Christian Watson has has flamed out a little bit, and they're a new well, he champion. He hasn't played right. so well. It's, it helps him flame out a little sure. bit. A new champion has arisen like a phoenix from the ashes. We got Romeo Dubs. It's I, Dubs. I, I want I but I want to call him Dubs. It's Dubs. Dubs is, you know, sure. The Dubs. If I was if I was talking directly to him, I'll try and get it right. But here, Dubs, baby. Doobie, baby. Always been a pass on Watson and I'm going to take the cheap <laughs> very Dubs, cheap, very cheap Dubs. Uh and now it's it's really it just feels validating, so, you know, yeah. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. I mean, that that's kind of the sentiment when, when there's a guy getting hyped in the first round that we don't really like, and then, then there's a cheaper guy later. Got to play those. Got to play that that way sometimes. Like last year, it was maybe I was saying I'd rather pass on Ayuk and take Debo. This year, you got to kind of take pass Debo and, and maybe scoop some Ayuk. Well, uh, yeah. Last year in the rookie draft, it was pass on Trey Sermon and take Elijah Mitchell. Right. You know. That worked out great. Was that no good for you? No. Oh, no. No. Sorry. Yeah. Should have been listening. Should have told you. Been. And I didn't do any film study last year either. Mm. That was also part of the problem. Well, there wasn't some, much film study to do Some people will tell you that's not your problem. Some people yeah. will probably tell you that was an added bonus. Right. Didn't oh, I, didn't yeah. any, I didn't do any research. Mm. Minimal research last year. Mm. There wasn't a ton of game film to watch. That's why we brought you in. We, want that, we like that kind of effort. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm, I'm about to start studying for next year's draft class. Start I, probably oh, next week. I think everybody saw Sermon put up 250 yards versus Northwestern or something mm-hmm. in the in the championship game caught a I was a Sermon him. fan back in when he was in Oklahoma caught a glimpse of him in the Clemson game where he went he, out I think he went out pretty soon thank goodness but the game before that cutting that out uh, against maybe Northwestern oh. yeah they were down well yeah. Northwestern was, was the was the uh, conference championship yeah. but then he played in the first game of the college football playoffs I can't remember against two balled out and then went out real early against Clemson in the natty I think mm. or or did they play Clemson in that first? I think college they played football. Clemson in the. Yeah. In, I think they played Clemson in the. Because first Alabama, game. Alabama. Also, won. I really hate the Natty. Except for the Natty Daddy. Yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> he hate the Natty. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. He the hates, he hates cliche phrases, just like not uh, all of them, but. He's all about ball. Oh, the worst. Where do they have that in the? Lo- I saw that in an NFL locker room, like all about ball. Maybe Detroit or something. Oh, stop! I just like ball. Yeah. I'm basically a dog. <laughs> oh, ball. <bull. laughs> <laughs> Touche. Touche. All right. So Dubes. Romeo, Romeo Dubes, dubs for the dub. For the dub. So making buy, plays buy, all over. Making plays. It was kind of like this guy seemed like he was just a little more but more pro ready and he was cheaper. And I felt like Rodgers, he might be able to show that to Rodgers and Rodgers might latch onto that. And that was kind of my philosophy there of saying, I'm going to shoot on this guy and let somebody else draft Watson in the first round. Um, and it looks like making I'm not going to take a victory lap because Watson's every hurt, day. but making big plays, getting talked yep. about. Um, if you drafted uh, Dubs, Dubs in the second round or in the third round. Oh, easily. Probably fourth round. Could you, would you, are you selling? You, you trying to turn that into, would, could you, if you nope. could Pacheco it and no. turn it into a two somehow? Uh, if I can turn it into a straight two. Maybe. It depends on my build. I feel like it'd be easier to turn Dubes into a two than it would Pacheco. Oh, for sure. Well, just the running back to the receiver, I Fair. feel like, is, is... Fair. Yeah, but Dubs is getting a lot more hype than Pacheco is. 
Yeah. She's getting a ton of hype. Well, nobody. Well, I, I would. Yeah, I guess I would. I guess I could say Pacheco. Nobody really even knew who he was and wasn't getting drafted. At you mean least, the run back at Rutgers? Yeah. At least Dubes is getting like some we did that round. industry mock, and somebody took him like one of the last picks and was like, nobody's talking about this guy. I forget who even who it was, and they were like, I would take a Pacheco just because look, he did this, this, and this. And he's on the Chiefs. Like, yeah, I think I, I think he ran a fast time in the forty. Yeah. at the combine, he was like a four three seven. Yeah, yeah, two fifteen maybe. So I'm I'm gonna confirmation bias Romeo, and I'm holding, baby. Yeah, I'm holding. I I, just, I sell Pacheco, and I'm holding Dubs. It's it's too enticing of a situation to not see what happens. You know, you nailed the pick. You fucking nailed it. the The reports are great. You, I mean, I guess you could say that about Pacheco too. But like, I don't know. One guy know. has a real chance to be the immediate wide receiver too in that offense, whereas something's gonna have to probably happen for. Yeah. Um, Pacheco, because they, they be, do have, they have Clyde. He's not dead. They got uh, Jarek McKinnon. McKinnon's still sticking around. Rojo, Rojo, probably. I don't see why they would cut Rojo. You but know, who knows? Doesn't make sense. Don't let Rojo get on that field in the preseason because he's not coming <sighs> off, baby. Good lord. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's keep it moving. Let's go back to East Coast. Let's go New York. We're gonna go G man. Wow, really, <laughs> really hitting up the boomer today. <laughs> Um, lot of lot to like over here. This has been a sneaky like I'm kind of buying a lot of this offense and startups. Yep. Shout out to J Mike on the Wandell Robinson train. There he's been he's been hot and heavy. There was times when we first started that he was like two one one twelve when we did a rookie draft like way way back, and he's been strong on Wandell. Also, uh, if I can go back, J Mike was real big on Romeo Dubs as well too. Love it, love it. So. Got a keen eye for the for the youngsters there. Yeah, got J Mike well, coming on. I don't, know, like, I don't think he wants not, that, that quote. Yeah. you gotta <laughs> you gotta rearrange that quote a little bit. <laughs> oh. It's like uh, it's like Mark Andrews saying Isaiah Likely's got a little bit of me inside of him. Mm. Like, ah, it's not quite as bad as what uh, Pittman said about Matt Ryan, but where he can put his balls anywhere he wants. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. got a keen eye for the draft for the draft eligible. J Mike, J Mike will be joining us uh, <laughs> yeah. soon for some uh, redraft chit chat. Maybe not after this. Yeah, uh, but kind of so distance myself. <laughs> Wandell getting hyped. I like I said, I've been sneaky kind of into most of this offense in startups and Wandell in rookie drafts because of they're, they're cheap and I feel like this could be a sneaky good wide receiver core if you can get any play out of Daniel Jones at all. Yeah. Um, ah, see. And, and they're kind of all. You had me yeah. until that. You had me until the <laughs> even <laughs> even so yeah, it's a one, it's a one year and then yeah. you see what happens and worst case scenario Tyrod's in there there you go got to get Tyrod for That's those that don't know Tyrod Taylor <laughs> he goes by Tyrod Tygo. according to the backup quarterback for the no he said it no it was uh, his roomie or something it was the other quarterback said he actually you know he goes by Tyrod I don't think it was Tyrod well, that well said Wandell that. goes by Wandell sure apostrophe Wandell better Wandell. say the baby. Getting a lot of hype. Getting a lot of hype, and I've 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 in the last two months been slowly moving him up my my board for uh, rookies. I had him near the end of the second round. Now he's you know firmly planted near the mid. I think I just second took, round. I think I just took him. It was a it was a rookie slash Devi draft. I think I took him at like two oh nine. Yeah, I mean I think that's great. Like Wandell and Tolbert are are nice nice targets there. Oh, that that my Devi lineup on that one's looking. Mm, a lot of chef's kiss from from old man yeah. over here today. Yeah, really, I'm really. feeling it. Uh, Tony is has been a, a favorite of ours. Just you know, trying to get the mental together, and they had a little spat before the season, and it seems like maybe they they sat down, they they hugged it out, and they're, they got mm, it. They dap, They got it. it they got it figured out. It seems until Daniel Jones is playing poorly, and then Kadarius is probably going to erupt. Um, but. <laughs> Tony for us has always been a big target all over the place from last off season to all through the off season to in startups right now. People hated him coming out of college for sure. And they hated the giants for taking a first round pick and using it on him. Right. They hated it. And we were all like, I gotta like it. I don't and necessarily then, like the giants landing spot, but like, I like that he got the draft capital and we like the I player. Think people just so, hated- I think people just hated more the the landing spot more than anything. I mean, we were on a live draft show, and them boys were mad about it because they did not like Lil Tonchi. 
They didn't. They did there, not. There's definitely some hate for for Tony, and I don't think he had the metrics. You know, he 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 wasn't like crushing production and breakout age. I can I can effort yeah. that to make sure that that's the right Probably. case, but but I don't think he was really. They, you know, giving the people what they wanted, but if you watched him play, you can see the guy he just electric moves the differently yeah. than right. well, most people. That's like that, that. That's what you know. There's been some people being like, you know, what what are the stats that Kadarius Tony did well? Like, why why is it why are people high on Kadarius Tony? What it's like? Well, you you just need to go back and watch the times that he was on the field last year yeah. as a professional, making other professionals look terrible as a rookie. Just. The way like he does move differently. That's what he does. I know some people are going to be like, that's stupid because that's not a quantifiable thing. And it's like, I don't give it. it what's not quantifiable is that he moves differently. OK, whatever. Like yeah. he's he's got something different out on the field. And that's the advantage of watching guys actually play the game instead of just looking at it on black and white. Like some of y'all, I think, are more excited to wait till the game's over to look at the numbers and say what happened with without actually using both things and saying hey i watched him on the field and because he didn't have a certain percentage of this or a certain percentage of that like why are we all in on Kadarius tony it was like why are we all in on Kadarius tony because you can still get him in like the 11th round and there's just something different about him like, yeah so for me that's 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 my tony spiel and then bellinger right now is there's there's probably not a cheaper rookie tight end who's getting First round reps. Consistently drafting him in the middle to late third. Yeah, in, I like that. In, in tight end premium rookie right, drafts. Right, right. He's not definitely was not anybody's on it. I think we had Debro, maybe. He was in the rookie mock when we had him on. He might have been a Bellinger late uh guy. I think maybe like fourth round and, and well, was tight end premium. So that was yeah. That was, you know, a little earlier than before he was getting any first team hype, but you know, hit the idea of that there really wasn't anybody there besides uh I wanted to say it's not Severius Jenkins. Who's the, who's their double name? Seals Jones. Ricky Seals Jones. Yeah, um, double name. <laughs> but Ballinger, with all, all reports, looking he really strong. Come, he came back from, I he, think he came off the pup or he came off, came off something. He immediately was the tight end one. He, he had been getting first team reps for a while this, this whole summer, yeah. this so whole offseason. Uh, just real quick, Kadarius Tony, uh, 34th percentile dominator, not good, and... 21.6 on the breakout age. That's late as fuck. That's 23rd percentile. That's no, why that, no one that, liked he him. He was old when he broke out. That's, that's why, why no one liked him. him. Yeah. Um, those numbers right there. Can't like a guy if those are bad. Mm -mm, no way. But I like the way you move. <laughs> there we go. Got my guys on the backups. <laughs> All right. So we got Bellinger. We got Tony. We got uh Wandell and then you know some camp shade on on Galladay right now it seems like but I'm still buying because it's super cheap he's running with the, he's only running with the one so he's right. gonna be on the field they're probably and gonna be running 11 personnel you so. could say he's not separating but that's not what he does he's not really a, he's a 50 50 ball guy you get him running down the field you get him in the red zone and he can make ridiculous things happen if you can put it in the vicinity guys who are not getting camp love out of out of the Giants camp I, th I think I read something the other day that six or seven wide receivers got first team reps not Darius Slayton. Yeah. Probably going to get traded or cut. Yeah, I'm going to assume cut. I think they already uh, tried to trade him. Yeah, they ran that into the ground. He's out of there. So, all right, let's get out of New York. Uh, and I, Bellinger, I think I'd be trading into mid seconds to get Wandell after maybe maybe some of those running backs are gone. Sure. Um, and then I'd be trading if if he's hanging around for some reason late third, fourth, and tight end premium trade just cheap trades to try to lock down i'm always targeting to uh, rookie tight ends at the end of tight end premium would you rather have dolce or there? dolce or uh, uh bellinger. bellinger yeah i'd rather have probably bellinger because he's usually around cheaper they're going around the same where i'm seeing them yeah it felt like in the beginning of this thing when we were everybody doing really likes dolce was you know, like yeah. early dolchich, third yeah dolce was going and then he's cooled off a little bit in Bell i think they're kind of like Almost like two ships passing, but Dolchich just came off the pup too. So, yeah. and they said you know Dolchich could help alleviate the Tim Patrick miss, missing missing well, Tim maybe Patrick, it's Alberto, or KJ Hamler. Hamler, baby, we are. You bet it, Bubba. <laughs> There's no these over here. You pretentious dicks. Uh, exactly. <laughs> pompous. Pompous. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right, let's go over to San Francisco. Bing bing. That's the trolley car. Cable car. I don't know what are they doing over there. What is this, Daniel? What is this? The neighborhood of make believe? <laughs> Daniel Tiger. Is that set in San Francisco? Settle down, Prince Wednesday. 
Ayuk, baby. Brandon Ayuk couldn't couldn't not bring him up here, you, baby. You mentioned it earlier. Every clip that you see of Lance throwing a pass is to Ayuk making a fucking silly catch and uh, just really crushing it out there. We talked about it in a show before, like uh, when quarterbacks change their guy. You don't you don't know who that guy is gonna be. Uh, Stafford came in and Cooper Cup. It was, who's, it was trailing having, who, who's trailing having breakfast with? That's what I want right, to know. Right, right. And Ayuk was sort of in the uh, allegedly in the doghouse last year for kind of being pretty vocal about wanting Trey Lance to be the guy. Um, and you you hit the nail on the head, whereas Debo, Debo was really cheap last year and Ayuk got a little expensive, and now those tables have turned. And you got to... It's time to buy this dip in I'm not Ayuk. as scared to buy Debo as I was before, but he got I'm, paid. I'm fine with passing on the Debo and taking all the Ayuk because yep. if he is the guy, and I think you know the we'll see that all there. I, I don't need him to be the guy, but I just need there. I just need to be closer between him and right. Debo, and it'll pay dividends quickly. He, yep. he got on the field and was he got out of the doghouse last year. And right. The numbers yep. weren't that bad. The numbers like, were, were the latter a lot part, better the latter than part of last scoring year. Scoring touchdowns yep. and yep. Yep. yakking it up, and he's still only twenty four years old yep. and a ridiculous yep. talent in an offense that's post type breakout might be getting lo- uh, unlocked here. Let's go. I've always been Team Ayuk, so me too. Oh, too. oh, for sure. Last year it did get a little out of hand. It got pretty expensive. He got there. like fourth, third, yeah. fourth round. I mean, I was buying him at the end of the first round in rookie draft, so I was fine. Yeah, uh, in startups, you didn't really last have year, to almost. You know, you I was get your guy. I like that. Um, but Ayuk is uh, had a lot of hype last year. Doghoused, then then out. Be- good point. Better than I think a lot of people think yep. that that season ended for him after yep. like the first five or six games. Um, but you know the reason he was hyped up on to be a third or fourth round startup pick last year is because we saw huge chunks of him being super productive, those long rangy arms and being yep. really fast and really fitting right into that Shanahan system. And the reason that you're getting Trey Lance is to turn the next knob on this offense up yep. and and do things a little bit more downfield and do some more creative things. Now there is a chance that the Niners come out and run the actual act dog shit out of the ball for six weeks with Lance and the running backs and just to get everything settled down, get some confidence going. Um, so but maybe, then, but then I'm buying more Ayuk then. Right. Sure. That's what I, that's kind of what I was getting at. And, and, you know, maybe using Debo as what we saw from Debo, but I could do a little bit of what, you know, you can, they were getting Ayuk involved yeah. in some, you know, reverses and end arounds and all that such. Great so, with the ball in his hands. He's a great punt returner yeah, at, at Arizona state. For sure. So Ayuk uh, on the, on the camp hype, I, I guess, nobody's selling at all. We're buying as much as we can. I think I'm sure there's a us. few out there who are selling, but I mean, I would say most people who still own them are probably believers from, <coughs> from the, from the jump. Yeah. So no, no selling for Ayuk, but a lot I don't of, think that they're not selling because he's getting good camp hype. Who? The people that are, have Ayuk. Yeah. I think you could probably go buy Ayuk for pretty decent money right now. Like, I think it's not an eighth round startup pick in super flex. Maybe, what is that? Like maybe like an early second? I think you'd probably have to spend two twos on him. Yeah. Two twos? Two two Atwells? Two two Atwells, yeah. Maybe you see a little two two this year. I'm not a sizist, but 150 pounds. Like, I don't know. Stafford how. was giving him some love. <laughs> yep. Still, man. Like, what's that movie where the guy gets ripped in half? Is it <laughs> playing? Is it, is it the water boy? What was it? It was some <laughs> movie. <water> where, <laughs> just a water boy? Oh, no. It was. It was. Uh, it was not another had, teen movie. Yeah, I was gonna say. Had where they put the little guy in, and at the end, oh yeah, to get him a yeah. rep, and then they, they rip him. In. That's Tutu Atwell's gonna get ripped. 150. I think pounds. he's gonna be just fine. I think he's just be, fine. Yeah. I mean, Maybe, I'm not expecting. Talk big about a out bust of, of a second round pick. We don't know that yet. You're talking about the you're talking about the reigning Super Bowl champs. Rams. Watch your yeah. fucking mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck them picks. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> what they said when they drafted I, uh, or. Uh, Two, two. At will. I was yeah. really didn't really understand. I was that really one, upset but. when the Rams took Cup over Godwin. Yeah. Well, no, it looks all right. Yeah, but think how good Chris Godwin <laughs> would be right now. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Definitely. Um, all right, let's Definitely get out of maybe. San Francisco. But let's let's throw in let's Trey Sermon getting some uh, getting yeah. some getting some training camp love too. Lot of, he's not, not dead. dead. He's Super, not dead. Super cheap sermon. Super cheap sermon and uh, you Super know tramp. If anything happens to any of these wide receivers, Jawan Jennings super late. Um, 
is had huge spots for the 49ers last year um and, is, and they brought him back on a one-year deal uh really let, kind of get is something different than those other wide receivers that they have is jalen hurd still in the 49ers no no that ship I'm, had to r.i.p i love jalen so hurd. much so excited yeah. about that for years yeah jalen hurd. he just kept but jennings is for real though like this is like that's it's what no i'm not gonna say what's what we wanted Hurd to be but like it's Jennings Heard could have been the ultimate weapon. He uh, was a good running back at Tennessee, and then he was a decent wide receiver at Baylor. Yeah, they were they had they were gonna do some some freaky some deaky fun shit things with him. Some yeah, freaky. some fun things. <laughs> uh, but never never worked out. So, um, all right, let's get out of San Fran. Let's go. Where you guys want to go next? Indy. One sure, of the sure, night in Paris, Campbell, sure. baby. That city looks like the you literally typed into google big city skyscraper sky, landscape and then you're like oh that yeah that's indy let's just <laughs> copy and paste that right into there it's like the most generic white bread city i've ever seen in my life and then god forbid you go on to the outskirts of oh. indy. <laughs> awful methy out there uh, woo, I've, never, <laughs> I've never been they, they still have uh video rental stores out there <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> It, I'm, it, if, if Andrew Luck still loves lives there, it must be great. I don't know. But he reads a lot though, so he probably yeah. doesn't get out much. Yeah, I mean, the, the you got down, a great the, deal on a house. Downtown's nice. Yeah, <laughs> downtown's nice. You can't, can't seems like a thrifty guy. Can't quit St. Elmo's, I guess. I don't know, but um, so Paris getting a little love here, um, where uh, you know I, we haven't been able to quit Paris on this podcast. Um, He's now, still so cheap. Little, little, little banged up. Don't know what it was today, but I think he popped up on the sleeper with the with the Did guy he? with the galls wrapped around his head. Oh, um, but cutting people up in camp though was has been looking absolutely stellar. Separating. There's probably no selling of Paris Campbell at this point because nobody would really you? wants him. If you could get a third for Paris Campbell right now, would you move him? I'm gonna wait and see. I've been hanging on for so long. Yeah, fuck he can die on my yeah. roster. Fuck that third. Fuck I third. Say die, but I mean, he's basically did. I'm probably not it? selling for a third right now. Yeah, I probably want that two. Ooh, look at you. You're not getting it. Too. You're not getting it. So I'm just gonna hold on to yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and then no, I, is no news. Good news with. With, uh, Pierce? with Pierce? Alec Pierce, he's playing solely with playing, the ones. Playing so. with the ones, so but, other than but that, not a whole fine. lot of. I think he just, I think no he just came back, so okay. I'm not super worried about it. How about Ashton Dolan? I'm always bad on Doolin. Doolin, you're always out. I picked him up uh, at the end of a lot of seasons last year and just threw him on the bottom of a bench, at the, you know, the last one or two waiver runs, and just chucked him on there. So I, I like it. Uh, did you did you know that the uh, school that Doolin went to college with disbanded their football program after he left? I did not know that. Yep, sure did. It's all his fault. So any any love there for him? Good, fast guy. Made a, made a nice play in training camp. Yeah, got the gotten some, got getting got a little hype. People all hyped up. Burn. Yeah, he's free. Sure. I like it. He's not free. A lot of the he's stats. free. The stats guys love him. Yeah. yeah. Lust. Which I'm surprised why him. they got all pumped up about a, a football play. But I guess the football there has to be some plays that equal equate in stats. Shout out to Malone University. Mm. I think well, I think that um. Uh, what, what do you think their mascot was? I'm gonna, I'm going with uh. What colors were they? Do you know? I can find out here in just a moment. How do you know the colors? But not. I don't the know. Mascot. Maybe since he, I don't know if he know if he knew what Malone was. Maybe he pulled it up and saw. I'm going with I, purple and yellow. He's gonna use that computer for the first time. See, Pur we told you you'd need it. Purple and yellow, and they were the snakes, mm. <laughs> the rattlers. Mm. They were the home marsupials. Home Malones. Oh, they were uh, red, white, and blue. And they were the pioneers. Pioneers. What else are you gonna be? Red, white, and blue? I guess the Patriots. Yep. All right. Uh, anything else going on in? Uh, who's the the? Uh, Anything else going on in Indianapolis? Um, I'm probably, probably maybe buying some Mac, some Mo Alley Cox. Okay. Seems like the tight ends behind him are having some, having some struggles so far. No whispers of camp. Of some Kylan Granson. Yeah, he's or, struggling, uh, struggling so far. The whispers I've heard. Or and then who's red. the guy they they drafted this year? Um, athletic guy, right? Yes. Uh, Jelani Woods. Jelani, Jelani Woods. Jelani. Yeah. Just all about the Mac. Return of the Mac, baby. Well, that was Virginia, right? Yeah. 
He transferred to Virginia. Yeah. He Jelani, played basketball. Yeah. Well, was a quarterback. Pretty Jelani? fun. Pretty fun mm-hmm. tape. Yes. Super athletic guy. Yeah. So, no, no, but no real hype coming out for no. Jelani right now. No. You trying to get out of your Jelani if he bought him for a third right now? No. Probably not. How, I mean, what are you going to do? Cut him? I first mean, year tight ends. <laughs> what are you going to do? Cut him? <laughs> I don't know. Just try to exchange him for something else. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. It's tough to draft. You got to just sit and wait on a tight end, you know? If you yeah. could swap Jelani Woods out for Bellinger right now, would you? Yes. Yeah, I think you got to move Bellinger what way if, what, up. What if you could swap? Uh, that's not, not the best. I'm trying to think of another tight end that's, uh, I would Taking say. Taking Dolchitz, too, over Jelani Woods. Isaiah Likely. Let's go to him. Give me Likely. Always wanted Likely. I'll take Woods. Yeah, I mean, probably should, but. Give me, give me likely, love likely, love that guy. Can't quit him. Thirteen personnel, you? baby. Why would you? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's Get shoot some good camp pipe. Let's shoot over to. Hmm, we're in Indianapolis. Let's go Nashville. We'll go Tennessee. Because uh, Kyle Phillips is the only ten I see. Jesus, what a cutie! Bazinga. What a cutie! <laughs> Kyle Phillips getting some love, getting some, getting some hype. And then, then today you saw Burks getting a little slap on the wrist, demoted. What? Uh, what happened this. with Burks? They said he ran. They, they were getting frustrated with some rookie mistakes in practice today, so they dropped him down. I think it was just some dropped um, him down some, to the second and third, like running with that team. I think it was just some some dumb shit. Some so old Bill little, little, little hate. Huh? If there's any, if there's any sliver of buy window there for the people who already hated Traylon Burks, who maybe somehow have him. I might try to jump in there, but you know, but we're talking about Kyle Phillips. Was now. Kyle Phillips involved in this? Uh, no. Or was hard hit, hard hat, lunch pail, first in, last out guy doing good with Kyle Phillips? Is he doesn't make mistakes? Mm. Coach, real coach's son. Yeah. He's high sep- IQ guy. He, yeah. He, he's separating out I there. I motor for sure. What we're saying is he's white. <laughs> yeah. But motor separating out there though. He does. He's 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 a, he's a separator. Big fan of the offspring. Yeah. <laughs> Got to keep him separated. Uh, so Kyle Phillips has been a, a big buy for for me all all off season. That was that was a heavy target. You're vindicated for sure. Right now oh. it feels good. Bobby Woods coming dashboard? back. Give you Love any dashboard? <laughs> I, I liked it because girls like the dashboard. It's odd that he likes it. I felt like you would be a dashboard guy. Why is it odd that I? I like don't. It? You do not seem like a dashboard. Oh, why seem like a dashboard? I've seen guy. dashboard. I can see you getting pretty tender in the car oh, by yourself all the time. <laughs> Yo, all the there time. are so <laughs> many chicks at a dashboard concert. There's a lot of chicks at a lot of concerts. Father of two. Yeah. <laughs> not, not fish. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> we were in line to go pee No, and like, fish you don't want to break that. They're just going to fucking bring you down, dude. We're, we're there to have a good time. The like, guy was like, <laughs> the guy was like, isn't the girls' line supposed to be longer than the guys' I'm line? I'm not having the a bathroom? good time at a dashboard contest or ga- dashboard fucking show. This, this band sucks, and there's a bunch of fucking women <laughs> ruining my time. <laughs> oh, we're going to get canceled. <laughs> I'm, 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 Is anything wrong here? Yeah. What are we doing? It's. What are we doing? I'm married. I mean, yeah, I'm married. <laughs> Whatever. Like one woman, no big deal. <laughs> well, I wouldn't take her to a dashboard concert. She'd be going by herself. I mean, you're not taking your <laughs> wife to a dashboard concert. Oh, she she totally loves dashboard. Would. I so. would take my wife to a dashboard concert. <laughs> yes, yeah, you would. You'd be the Jay Wayne's wife doesn't like dashboard. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I'll go with Jay Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Probably also a lot of that at, at Dashboard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're getting canceled. <laughs> that guy's so small. He's the smallest human. Whatever. Hmm. The, the Might have a lot of trade action on here, so let's let's keep, oh keep this gosh. thing moving along. Let's <laughs> wrap it up. We, we're got to be uh, towards we, the we end got, of this We got list. a couple more. Um, Hooper, always, always, out. always hype for me. Hooper, buying all the Hooper. I was going to say, would you sell Jelani Woods for Hooper, but... No, like I'm give me Hooper all day long. Like I don't even think those are comparable right now, um, for me. But Hooper is going super late. I'm not leaving any draft without Hooper. And Hooper's been getting hyped up. They've been hyping. Hooper's been hyping up uh, the the tight end from Maryland. Oh, lo- super athletic. I was just gonna say that after you're done I, talking. I, I couldn't remember what his name. Yeah, uh, Aquanago. Uh, 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 Aquanago. Yeah, I got. I'm not gonna go try to get the pronunciation down here, but uh, super. Oh, give me a second. Super athletic. Fella and getting some love from. He's uh, out on using the computer. He's back to the back phone. Back to the phone. I know where he is. It's fine, and that's why I want. We buy. Him. In, looking for the phonet, phonetic. We no. buy in. You buy in into a, any of that. Aquanco. 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 Somebody will correct us. 
Uh, maybe you're right. You're feeling pretty good about it. I'm feeling great about it. I like the confidence. Yeah. I'll buy the confidence. You could be telling me some bullshit. Yeah. I mean, I'm spending fourths on a Quanco. Oh, yeah? Is, he, is yeah. that where I don't, where's the, is that what you got to pay for him? Uh, let's see here. I probably could spend some fab on that, man. I don't even think I've seen him go in drafts. Yeah, I mean, Have I've seen, seen him, him go in some. Board? Yeah. I've seen him go in some, yeah. What's the, Miami, pre, what's the uh, Miami wide receiver? This Eric, like a, uh, Eric Azu, 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 Azukanma. Yeah, he's love Azu him Khan. too. He's making waves, getting some camp love, getting yeah. some hype. Shout out Riley Bymaster. You 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 gave us we were we I might have been off air when we talked about that, or maybe on air on one of these early rookie shows that we were talking about. Um you, you gave him some love, said he said he was good. Oh yeah. He's good, probably gonna have a hard time getting oh, on yeah. the field right now, but yeah, late, well, he could be late, water late three. round stash. He's not beating out Cedric Wilson. Cedric Wilson's a real deal. The Cowboys would love that. A Quanco currently right going as uh, 53. So Cowboys would love that. That's Cedi. A, that would be the uh, 505. Mm. Right. I guess in your FFPCs, the boys are getting drafted. All right, let's 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 wrap this thing up here. Let's get through these last couple guys. Um, Algier for your boy Matt oh. over here. Moved him oh, up. Heavy buy. Moved him up a few weeks ago in my rookie ranks. Heavy buy. Had him at the end of the second. Now he's mid-second all day for me. Heavy buy. Just spend just spend a two oh four for him. I like it. Maybe yeah, I'm, I'm not, what? not upset about it. Took him over Spiller. Super flex or non super flex? Non-super tight end flex. premium, non tight end premium. Tight end premium. Took him I'm not over taking Spiller? any not taking any tight ends at that point. Yuck. Yeah, I mean I'm taking Spiller, but once Spiller is Spiller gone. Spiller went like two ten in that draft. Ooh boy. We got him pretty cheap in some FFPCs we traded in. I like it, you and got that. But I love the Algier. There's chance to play. I don't love the player necessarily. I think Hall of very good. Hall <laughs> Hall of Hall of Good. Hall of Shut Your Mouth. Hall of Good, but opportunity and Hall of Good is fine with me. Um, it's just so random to me. It's like he doesn't like the player, but he's all in I don't, on taking I don't him. Hate I hate the, it. I don't hate the player. I just wasn't super hate excited the about the player. And now you that, don't hate the player. You hate his game. Now that we're we're a fifth round guy who's knocking on the door with a lot of opportunity, who can be a a workhorse type player who has that profile. And you have a guy like CPAT over there who's not necessarily that, but I, you know, I'm fine with also drafting him as well. Um, and I feel like I can tie up that backfield for pretty cheap in a startup. And I really like taking Algier. And, I, and frankly, I could probably, in, an, in a rookie draft where I could take Algier, I could probably go get Patterson from somebody for pretty cheap as well. Because it seems like the fire was burning awful hot there, and now it seems like the flame is out. He's like a 15th round startup pick for a lot of people. To well, he's double. also 30. As sure, a sure. But, I, but I, what I'm saying is, is I can own is. a cheap backfield. And Patterson could probably catch a whole bunch of balls. You lost the double designation, but at least it stayed on the running back side and didn't go to the wide receiver side. Somebody, um, I forget who, was pointing out that maybe it was our boy Her- Joe Herbert on uh, on the YouTube was pointing out that he has a wide receiver designation on a different platform. So Not on Sleeper. Not on Sleeper, but I haven't looked at the other platforms to see if it had changed. But. Yeah, I don't know what Yahoo will have him as, but... Um, but I, I, I moved Algier and Pierce both up. I would I like Pierce a, a smidge more than I like Algier. I like the, that player evaluation more than Algier, so I, I stuck him ahead, and I think they both have equal chance to have run on their offense. That's fair. Um, I just would I, – I'm always – yeah, you've been. I've been. Running, you've been running in the back. Algier guy of the group for sure. Well, I've all, I'm, I'm also more likely to take the running back guy early as well too. Yeah, I feel you. So I, I'd move Pierce up. So he's he's getting camp hype as well. And again, I can buy that backfield for pretty cheap. I can get Mac and Pierce and feel pretty good about it. And Pierce's last couple of days, couple a uh, couple of hype pieces. So over in Houston, stopping down in 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 the in the H O U. Oh yeah, I don't have him on that list, but we better bring up Nico Collins. Boom, baby, getting hype, getting hyped up. Love some Nico. We're we're buying that hype for sure. They're like they can't guard him. Can't guard Nico. He's a big, he's a big, fast man. Yeah, he's and a big fellow. I was watching. I've been going through all the Jags games because I like to torture myself. And uh, they played the Texans, and he he almost made a ridiculous play in the back of the end zone. He was just a little bit too far out of bounds, but it was like you could see the potential of what this man can do, especially in the red zone and. You know, Davis Mills is hyping him up. The coach is hyping him up. Yeah, apparently he's solidly the wide receiver too. There, I think it's just Cooks, Cooks, and then him, and then a massive teardrop. Yeah, I don't even. I, I don't even. Know I who couldn't the even other name. Him, yeah, um, uh, Chris Conley. Chris Conley. Probably the wide receiver yeah. three there. I don't. I couldn't name anybody else. That's R.I.P. Mitchie. 
Yeah, that's a Get bummer. Better, buddy. Hopefully he's yeah. back because that was that was going to yeah. be a huge piece for them. It was a big buy for me, but now uh, we just don't know. So uh, we'll play that by ear. Uh, but I like I like the Pierce and I love the Nico hype and I'm buying all that hype. Uh, wish it would have kept quiet a little bit more because I want to try to buy as much Nico as I can. Yeah. Uh, but still doesn't seem to have affected the actual startup now, I, ADP I, a ton. I think because he plays the Texans, we'll keep, right. his, we'll keep his ADP yeah. down. Yeah, and nobody right. likes the quarterback. For the cash fan, you know, you might be able to buy him in your home leagues for a little cheaper for somebody who for drafted sure. him in the end of the second, early third last year or something. <sighs> Let's go. Um, likely my guy, we talked about him a little bit, just kind of – Getting some love. What's the opportunity there? That's maybe man. maybe it's a lot of opportunity. Who's maybe. the second wide receiver there? Bateman. Who, who's Big the third? play Duvernay. Who's the, the third James target? Proche. The second. Yeah, who's the, the third target? The third target is the question. Yeah. Right? Who's the third target? Who the, cares? The OC is terribly uncreative, and after <laughs> a year or two in that system, which because he was the Niners guy for a while. Yeah. He came in. I'm drawing a blank on his Greg name Roman. right now. Greg Roman. Um, and then just kind of gets a little stale in what he does. Um, and, you know, it seemed like the way they were drafting that there may be a, maybe some personnel switching of, hey, we want some athletic tight ends to bring in a bigger package and run Bateman. And Proche seems to be the guy getting the the the, the heat. The late love. Uh, the, the love right now out of that other receiver group of the DeVernays and the Tylen Wallaces. Yeah. Um, so Proche probably getting some love right now. Worth a, worth a look around on your uh, fab wires if, if around, if you're picking up right now, or if you're in a veteran draft where you sure. can draft but rookies and vets, Proche may be available in a lot of your leagues. You probably good stab late um, if, you, if you're more into taking the vets. Uh, but likely, I think, could end up being, he's basically a wide receiver playing the tight end position, uber athletic. Uh, guy now didn't test very well, knocked him down a little bit, but these they're saying in camp that he looks like the athletic guy that was on tape, not the guy who he tested. called like a 90, 90 some yard, 95 yeah. yard touchdown pass at Coastal. Yeah, I loved watching Coastal, so much fun. So, uh, DJ Chark, the other guy for me on this hot heat, hot heat map, however you want to go here. Um, <laughs> getting kinda, a lot of love, getting a lot of love. Probably their probably their wide receiver too, um, and you know gonna be a deep threat for them, I'm sure. While Jamison's out, Jamison probably gonna miss some time. Just take Jamison seven work, rounds earlier. Work Jamison, yeah. You work Jamison in slowly because I think Chark's gonna go out there and give him something. You know, Chark was a guy who was being drafted at the top of drafts and kind of faded away, got a little banged up. The Jaguars really could have used him um, and just didn't bring him back, and now he's on a one year deal. And I like to take guys who have had high ceilings. And like, I wasn't taking Chark when he was up here. I was like, no way. Yeah. But now that he's way down here, it's a screaming by all day, every day, every draft. Let me get Chark and go. He'll get an opportunity. He, he's going to get good here. opportunity this year. And then we'll be a free. And, and you could argue, so you could argue to say that maybe the opportunity won't be great on the Lions because it'll be fifth in the pecking order or whatever. But there, there's probably going to be weeks where he is the leading receiver on that. Just one takes one play. League. Yeah. Uh, can, that I, team. can I make a bold prediction here? Go ahead. Jared Goff might fuck around this year and, and finish as a top fifteen QB. Oh, I don't I don't think that's out there's a there's he's surrounded and the offensive line's And good. he's not he's not terrible. That's right. the whole thing. Like Jared Goff is not a terrible QB. Right. He's not terrible. He could he he can make the dumb play at a dumb time. Yes, and I think that he was not the fit for McVay's system. That was no. very evident after Stafford came just right. came in and won the Super Bowl. For an, a high powered offensive system. That's not the guy you necessarily want. No, Although maybe, did, maybe, maybe not the take brightest. Did to a Super Bowl. Yeah, maybe not the best guy between the years, right. as we saw, because he doesn't know where the sun sets or sun rises. But, I mean, the Lions play themselves into a decent record this year. Sure. And maybe golf buys another season there. I don't yeah. know. We shall see. Um, but DJ Chark uh, on, the, on the list of hype up players that I am buying into. Um, Terrace Marshall, buying or selling that hype? I'm holding um, I'm 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 buying in I'm buying in in the 16th 17th rounds of startups like sure hard sell hard sell really yep give me I'd rather have Richard Higgins 10 rounds later mm, okay I mean not too many drafts going 26 rounds but some uh, some drafts are gonna go 40 rounds yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe it does maybe it doesn't uh Terrace I mean he's getting a lot of preseason a lot of, a lot of camp hype 
did last year too and then you know didn't really amount to anything we saw robbie anderson kind of be a guy he's that i don't know what the hell happened the cliff, there though yeah what's going yeah what's he was talking about retiring and yeah who, who else are they going to throw to i just told you who they're going to throw to Higgins. Higgins. He's got the rapport with Baker. He does have a little bit of rapport with Baker. I'm, and CMC. I'm still buying into Marshall. I know there wasn't a whole lot of sells on this entire list, but we put it together because I like all these guys. Right. And we're having a good time <laughs> chopping it up. Dynasty season is getting a bow put on it, and we're into redraft, and we're about to hammer redraft for a couple weeks here. So it's hypey time. Let's get excited. We're hyped up. Yep. Terrace Marshall, <laughs> sell for you, but I'm, I'm buying. I liked Terrace Marshall a good bit, and I'm assuming you did not. You did not. Okay. No, well, there it is. That's, that was basically the game we were playing today. You didn't like him coming in. And still don't like him. Still now. don't like him now. He nope. stinks, and I hate him. Um, <laughs> I've hated my heart. I'm gonna let it out. Uh, that's right. You got to. Um, there's no use keeping it in there. That's how you're gonna have a heart attack. Um, but <laughs> big physical. You saw what he could do in some preseason, which is you know a, a cautionary tale of don't get too excited about the preseason. Um, but. I'm I'm still in. I'm just not going to be completely at, at cost. I'm not going to be completely out on a guy that I and maybe you could call it take lock, but it's like I liked what I saw. I liked that he could be. He played inside and outside, and he's a big guy who who moved pretty well. Um, so that's kind of where I was going with Terrace Marshall. He was part of that crew that you know two of the other guys have emerged as the best two receivers in the league. Uh, Fair. Not that that really has anything to do with anything but he was up there competing with them as a freshman um, yeah where's demarcus lodge at <laughs> did you like that guy no oh i thought you did no he demarcus lodge had some of the best the Mississippi side State line, guy? old miss guy old miss yeah yeah. the yeah. best with, with side brown line catches and, yes with old with uh aj brown and dk yeah some of the best best toe drag swag i've ever seen of any player was demarcus lodge i don't mm. and don't even know what he's doing these days he's probably working at burger king maybe he's working at a lodge Man, half of these, more than half of these drafts, Terrace Marshall doesn't even even oh, get yeah. drafted. No, no, we we went eighteen he's, rounds here, like he's super late. Uh, so. I, I took him in the sixteenth round in two of these drafts out of like the six off season dynasty mocks we did. That's that's the only time he got drafted, and we went eighteen rounds. And the other ones he never even got picked. So that means he's like a nineteenth round pick. It's yeah. so cheap, so free. Speaking of guys that cheap, that also gonna be that also getting some love in camp. Donovan Peoples Jones, TPJ baby, oh, another. Yeah. Nico Collins, another another Michigan uber athletic guy that just never quite got to where he needed to be. Well, maybe the, well, because the quarterback of the program, Michigan right? Maybe because of the program. Awful. But we talked about that for a little while. How they were putting out some pretty high test athletes there, getting them in there, and just not quite getting yeah. them to where they needed to be. DPJ and Nico being those two guys, I like that. I like that. Yeah, DPJ having some good rapport with Watson. We don't know what's going on with that, but right for Dynasty, and he's listed as the wide receiver two of the depth chart. So. Yeah. Anybody else? Good Shout time. out to Drake London for separating. Yeah. Suck it, Matt. I told you I was skeptical. I didn't say I was just skeptical. Kyle Pitts, baby. All hype team. <laughs> is he getting a lot of hype? Yeah, every fucking play yeah, I see. Every play is Kyle Pitts. It's Kyle just, Pitts. Like, or oh, Drake that's London. wide receiver. Nope, it's Kyle Pitts. Yeah. <laughs> he does look like a wide receiver. I'm Anybody got anything else? I got trade talk to get to here. Oh, God. Hot, the bat phone's been burning up. We're in the middle of a startup. I got to hurry up and edit this thing so it's not irrelevant by the time could I get be, it out. Uh, could be time to uh, maybe Zamir White push him up into the late second round mm. after. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, that preseason that's good, game that's looking good. pretty good. Caught two balls. Yeah. Fucking did work th- with it. Three balls. Three balls. Caught wait a minute. Three balls. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So he doesn't just have two nubs at the end of his arms. He doesn't just wear like a claw out there to carry the ball with he has hands he does have a gifted athlete could somehow figure out how to catch the fucking football this is crazy this Tar- is crazy talk. target share casey target share this is crazy I think he talk. caught nine balls either in his career it was or 13 his... total okay so he caught nine balls his senior year in college yeah he just caught he three, caught in, a three in a preseason game, game when wild he played, when he probably crazy. played like 20 one was a screen he gave a nice chip got out there in the yeah. the run made was, a move. the run was mm, too much hype on that run but he had several runs. It was the big first run. run of the game come out for 13 several yards. Several runs. Big, the big he had. run. It was, yeah, it was, it was the first open run. It was gap. The first run of the game. Well, speaking of Zamir, before we get out of here, let's, 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 let's talk about some shade. Josh Jacobs, oh, David Montgomery. Shade tree. Yeah, people are taking right? Jacob. All I saw all day long after that was Jacobs, who was already low in my ranks, but I'm taking him off now. You can't take someone off. Yeah. Of 
He's off my rank. I fucking together. hope you do, because let's let him <laughs> drop a little bit more. Like, <laughs> yeah. you think anybody, any running back on that team is better than Josh Jacobs right now? No. No, of no. course not. He's been like RB8 and RB6 the last, like, two years. He's got good hands. He's a good player. That offense is ready to roll. Like, they were like, oh, they're showcasing him to trade him. I'm like, if you're going to showcase, why would you do that? What if he gets hurt? Like, yeah. How about just, last year? That's I was a showcase to right. trade him. I mean, you fucking played well. You you didn't you didn't pay him. Like, why do you give it? You don't. Why do you give a shit about that guy? Like, yeah, get run, him out run, there. Run his ass into right. the ground. Get him out there. See what you got. Take him out. And the other guys all played too. It's not like nobody else played either. Like, I, yeah. I get it. Like, it's not the best optic. But like to be like, oh, that's it. I'm dropping him off my draft. But you just didn't like fucking Josh Jacobs to begin with, and now it right. gave you a reason to drop which, him even which lower. Made no sense whatsoever. Like you're giving Josh just Jacobs out is so woodworks. cheap right now, yeah. and it's like, all right, so I'll get Josh Jacobs, and I'll take some year, ten yeah. rounds later. Maybe not quite 10, but eight, six, three, two, back to back <laughs> picks. <laughs> but settle down. Like, you know, I don't want to, like, people get mad because a new regime who didn't draft Josh Jacobs didn't pay a running back when nobody wants a running back to be paid. It could, right. You could say the right. same thing on Miles Sanders right. and Kenny Gainwell. They didn't right. pay him, but right. they're not supposed to pay him. Like, what the fuck? What do you want? Yeah. What, do you, what is exactly that you want? And McDaniel's never been a never been a workhorse. No, no but I, if, I, if I had to, if I was a betting man, I'm going to say Josh Jacobs is going to lead that fucking committee in yeah. every statistical category except yeah. for maybe yards per fucking touch because he's got a hundred more than the guy who led in yards per touch. Yeah, you know. So I just I don't really under like the only thing you can knock Josh Jacobs for is not being healthy sometimes. Like, and he played through a lot of it. I, I don't of really understand. Year. Please drop him down some more, and I will take Josh. I have no problem putting sure, Josh. Because sure. It's not like he's dead after this year either. He's not even that old. No. Like, and he's a pretty good player. All he's done is given you a, a pretty good return on investment. And, like, they finally threw it to him last year, and he was, like, fourth or fifth in receptions. He's only 24. Like, I just – it doesn't make any sense to me to, to, for people who do this for a living to be like, oh, he's out of my – I saw two fantasy pros, guy, Derek – Debro and the guy, I think the guy who was like the main fantasy pros guy was both said that stupid shit. I'm like, what are we doing? Like, come on, man. Like, you're just saying that to get clicks, I think. I don't know. Got to nope. farm the engagement. I like Derek. He's a good guy. He's been on the show. No, no shade. Just say some we're gonna dumb call shit. You, you, if you say bullshit, we're going to call right. you bullshit. And maybe, you know, remind me of this in six months, uh, you know. Wait, wait, and you're like, wow, look, it, Samir was the best guy. I don't even think he likes Samir. I don't know. But. How do you I like don't Z- recall. How do you not like Zeus? A lot of people didn't like Zeus. Well, they're fucking wrong too. <laughs> Every everybody was get, was mad at Garrett for taking Zamir at six five or two five in the in the industry mock we did. That's 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 excessive. Even for someone, I that's excessive. But he was planting a flag. You know, you don't get to trade around in a mock. Also, see the same thing going around with Monty right now because my, uh, Monty's off my Monty's off teams. my board because he's like, okay, all right, okay, okay, that's fine. I don't really know what's going on over there. Again, new they regime. Like, they like Herbert. They don't have to play. Some beat writer said that they, it appears that they like Herbert and Ebner, yeah. Ebner, and I like I like Ebner and Herbert too. Sure. But if you're but Monty's clearly the best player. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like. <laughs> And it, like, has he not shown you that he can be a bell cow on a god awful offense with god awful? Which is going to be god awful this year. It certainly is. But all he's done is come out there. Yeah, he's had a cup, some bad games here and there. But to be right, most running backs do, and, and most running backs in his situation should. And then he goes on these ridiculous runs that fucking win you the league. Yeah, because he is a really good player. He's he's been having to do so much on his own for so long, and then he's talking about he's depressed. I think these ever last since we years. saw that 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 video that David Montgomery that David Montgomery um uh, graphic graphic with the feet of Barkley, the, the speed yeah, of yeah. whatever. Like all right, let's pump the brakes a little bit there. Right. It's like I guess McDaniel's going back to Josh Jacobs, just saying, hey, we're just getting all our backs in there to see what we got, get them sure. used to what's going on, get I like a contact. rotation. I need to figure it we out. Can't, we don't get any contact in practice. Yeah, running backs kind of need contact. We give them a little contact here. We Crave get them out. Contact. Um, so, no, I'm I'm still in on both of those guys. They're 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 down the list a little bit for me, and the the discounts built in because they haven't quite ascended to where we necessarily wanted. And they a never lot of, will. And and almost none of the running backs have. That's why we're having a problem right now with not being able to kind of be in the robust running back business. If you want to be, it's really hard to be because. We haven't had the ascension of yeah. the running backs that we, you know, we haven't all, it just hasn't happened yet. Like it's still the same old 27 year old guys who are the, the guys who keep leading the league. And yeah. 
you know, you just keep seeing the stat that no running back in the, since LaShawn McCoy has been relevant in fantasy after like their 26 year old season. I'm pretty sure Derrick Henry was on his way to be doing that last year. He just happened to hurt his foot a little bit. And now Derrick Henry's back. And I think a lot of those guys are going to smash that mold uh, for the next you know year or two and, and, yeah, and still be just just fine. I think we got a lot of really good running backs here there for a little while and, and it was a, you, you could just smash running backs for a little while but the last two years it got kind of hard yep. and it's because Monty Jacobs Gibson Akers uh, Dobbins CEH we got Taylor basically yeah a, a, out of that like who else Najee I guess yeah and now we're hoping maybe we could get a little ETN has, has crept up there because he has Brees. to Brees that's a, and we don't even know yet and the 23 class looks Sure, we're hoping we're hoping that we can get rejuvenated there, but we don't know. So, yeah. anyway, I'm taking the discounts on Jacobs and Monty, and I have no problem putting those guys on my team over some some dumb shit. So, they're already cheap as hell. Make them cheaper. And All I'm doing say that is screaming infidelities, <laughs> taking away <laughs> your hands everywhere. Yes, Matt's definitely gonna roll down the windows. Yeah. Blast that on the way home. <laughs> it's the only song I know. Yeah, that uh, dashboard. Oh. All right, well, we appreciate y'all for joining us. Uh, you know, do the do the do the do the, the subby. And Shout the- out to all the ladies out there. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Dashboard Confessional. <laughs> Trashboard Confessionals. They come to Charleston <laughs> quite often. Why Didn't, wouldn't you? Still have the alert set. <laughs> Be sure to uh, hit us up with that five-star review on the iTunes or Spotify. Send me proof of it. I'm starting another contest. Give away some more T-shirts. We'll be doing it all season long. So Be sure to include your favorite dashboard song. We'll be back next time with uh, some redraft for your pleasure. Peace.